Hey there people, what's up? Woody here. Um, today I just decided to randomly upload a battle because I haven't done it in a few days and tonight I am insanely bored waiting for the Lost Season 6 premiere to air. Um, I don't know if many others of you are, but I'm really excited for it. Um, I've seen a few clips from it so far and it looks to be amazing, but obviously me living in the UK and all, I've got to wait an extra few hours because um, it's like 9.30pm here, so it must be like mid afternoon in America and it doesn't air till 9 p.m. so I've got like another five hours to go so I won't get it till like 2 a.m. so anyways yeah I am insanely bored and I decided to upload this match um, it was against Juggy GG and I'm still using that same old team that keeps rattling around in my box and I just uh, I call it a team I basically I just I like the lead um, in Fern here I've used it a few times I'll probably stop using it soon um, but yeah, it works and is something new that I haven't used before. Um, I'm testing out the two walls in the team, I believe. This one was uh, Slowbro and, well, if you don't class Gyarados, uh, Slowbro and uh, Hariyama. Uh, the Hariyama I've used before, the Slowbro I think is brand new. It's pretty basic, just max defense, max HP. Um, it's a bit of a tank, it's got Psychic, uh, Surf slack off and toxic perhaps I don't know but anyways let's get into the narration finally uh, I think we've both done some setting up with our leads there I believe um, no I don't think I took out his swamper but I couldn't be 100% there because I am not watching <laughs> uh, I'm sorry yeah he brings in his VP which I always hate to see because these things are an absolute bitch to take down and yeah, I think he got a water absorb and a water absorb, and he goes for the hidden power electric, and I bounce for some reason. Why the hell did I bounce there? Um, okay, I don't know why I bounced. Maybe he's got rocks up, and I know I can't switch out and switch back in, so I just go for an attack. Um, but it works because I get the power hacks, which is good and bad because I would rather Slowbro came in and toxic it instead of. Um, getting the power hacks on it because that's useless on a Vaporeon really um, it's just gonna wish stall me but it turns out this one is uh, a wish plus three attacks um, ice beam surf in power electric and the wish so it's not as hard to take down as the stalling ones are so yeah he kills off my Gyarados and now I bring in Raikou or Raikou and he switches into Metagross and I went for the hidden power, my hidden power is grass um, I'm not sure why I went for that over T-Bolt but okay let's move on I switch in the slow bro to take a physical attack um, and obviously being me on Marsh I can resist too um, which I do quite nicely and he doesn't get the attack raise so that is really cool and I'll probably just go for the surf here since it's the only attack that can touch that Metagross um, yeah, he goes for the Thunder Punch. It's kind of sad to see that because it's the only thing that can do any significant damage to me, really. Um, yeah, I do go for the Surf. But uh, I'm not sure if another Thunder Punch will kill me. Probably not after the leftovers, so I could get a Slack off up and uh, be okay. So, yeah, getting some lefties. I hope this video uploads properly, actually, because it's like over 10 minutes long. But I believe the, the limit on YouTube now might be 11 minutes. I'm not sure. I, I thought I heard that, but we shall see when it goes up um, <coughs> yeah as you can see I did leave that other thunder punch as I predicted and slack off to over half health <coughs> yeah the battle's kinda slow because it's only at two times speed but uh, yeah maybe I should just speed it up to four times then I won't have to worry about it cutting off um, whatever he switches in vape now and I slack off again he's predicting a surf um, but I guess I went for that over uh, surf because thunder punch would have taken me down quite far if he'd went for it so now I switch in Hariyama who is a special tank so yeah both my walls are kind of semi tanks I guess um, I don't know if you can really class Slowbro as a tank because he hasn't got any attacking investment so like a effort point investment he's just got the attacks so whatever make your mind up about that one um, yeah I knock off his leftovers he'd probably help me later because, like I say, Vaporeon's a bitch. Um, so he gets his wish come true there. Uh, gets back to full health after he surfed me. And I take it quite well, because, like I say, I'm a special tank. 
and he goes back into the pert guess just as fodder and my computers went black now what the fuck oh it's okay we're back um yeah it must be my screen save every time I record I forget my fucking screen save I should knock that thing off but as you can see he never missed much I just knocked off um false palmed and killed it uh, he brings in Magmortar which is going to suffer from the stealth rocks and he went for the flamethrower here um, I, he did admit to me afterwards he wasn't on his A game um, he actually figured I was guts but if I was I would probably run a uh, a uh, toxic orb to be honest or a flame orb or something but yeah so he didn't realize I was thick fat was my point there so he went for flamethrower and I resist that because of his ability and so this turn he chooses to go for the focus blast and I think he was life orb there but I, I missed that too <laughs> but um, yeah he, he most likely was and I can kill it with another force bomb so that's quite cool Harry Armour done really well for me there he took out two pokes uh, one of them was next to dead anyways but still I uh, can't complain uh, he brings back in the Metagross just to finish off Harry Armour um, I was hoping this wouldn't kill uh, but it does so yeah, Xbox 720 nice name uh, oh here we go I bring in Flygon Choice Scar Flygon to revenge kill and do I predict a new turn I think I do I think I remember this Gengar I don't know I don't remember this Gengar I'm only joking yeah U-turn <laughs> I do go for the U-turn um, so I win that prediction and I get to switch in Raikou for free um, which will hopefully outspeed and kill if he's not scarfed which I do so nice um, that Shadow Ball will definitely kill because I have a Life Orb too. Um, not to mention Gengar's paper defenses, of course. Um, so now he goes back into Gross and I T Ball. And I think, actually, I, I do remember this part of the match. I think I was thinking here, if this doesn't take it out, that's going to cause me a big problem. Because the only thing, uh, I'm sure this Riku, I really needed this Riku to take down his Vaporeon. So if he, I'd left it in, risking. Uh, a lot there and if his Metagross had taken me down I would have had to like a really tough time with that uh, Vaporeon so most of the match came down to that T-Bolt killing him and uh, I guess he doesn't have any defense investment after he's got you know after all he's got Thunder Punch so he's most likely um, all invested into attack uh, so my Life Orb Thunderbolt does take it down and that will tip the match in my favor so as I can, you can probably guess this thing's choiced. Uh, I went into Slowbro to take the first hit from it to save Riku for the Vaporeon. Um, but it actually turns out that the Slowbro is able to take down the rest of his team, the uh, the last two pokes, which is really nice. Um, you can't really expect much more from a Slowbro. Um, so yeah, I just stall him out with the quick attacks and stuff. Actually, I think I might actually go for a Toxic here because I'm thinking I can Toxic him and then if I worked it out properly, I could leave my Slowbro in on full health as his Vaporeon comes in, if you know what I mean. So by the time his Vaporeon comes in, my Slowbro will be at full health, is what I'm trying to say. Because he has to quick attack, so he's going to go first all the time. And he can't switch out because of the rocks. So he's got to keep going for it, which means I always go second and slack off and just recover all the damage. So eventually, the end of the turn's poison damage will kill him and like I say I'll be left on full health so it's a bit of a bitchy way to play because I know I've won anyways because of the Raikou but um, you know playing it safe whatever he didn't have that much time to toxic stall so it didn't take that long really um, so yeah sorry about that dude but you know uh, now he goes into his last Pokemon Vaporeon uh, wet 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 and I Psychic because it's the only attack I've got that can damage it um, and he's gonna keep yeah I don't know why he surfed there didn't he? he maybe predicted a switch or he knows he's lost or something I think he does a cycle through all his attacks actually if I remember rightly but yeah he, I don't think he goes for the wish I think he pretty much knows he's lost because I've got a Riku, um which would outspeed him without the paralysis so yeah this is good game um, yeah, good game, Juggy GG. Uh, this stalled a little bit of time for me waiting for Lost. Hey, if anybody else is a Lost fan out there, give me a comment because I want to talk to you. <laughs> I'm a Lost fan too, you know. Uh, yeah, leave me a comment if you're a Lost fan and uh, with any predictions of things you think might happen. I've seen quite a lot of new footage, so I might know if you're right or wrong, or you might have seen new footage and we can talk about that. 
whatever, I'm here for five hours, so <laughs> yeah, good game, Juggy GG, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace out.